Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone and welcome to Little Orange Plum. Today we are looking at a little subreddit called r slash MLM. So today we are looking at um, multi-level marketing again. Um, so <laughs> I think one thing that I'm seeing as a positive is we're having a lot less posts this week that are specifically people using COVID-19 as a reason to push their products. So I feel like I feel like that's a win, that's a positive. We're having less people exploiting people in a time of crisis. Or maybe we're just getting tired of commenting on it, I don't know. But yeah, so what we had um, today, we have um, how to convince my best friend that her new job is an MLM. So we have my best friend for 10 years and current roommate told me this morning she got a job. I was so excited for her and asked her where it was. She told me it was a com with a company called Monet, which specializes in skin and hair care products. No kidding, they're the, they're <laughs> Monet is the one which makes your hair fall out. She said her position would be as a brand representative slash salesman. I immediately got suspicious. I told her it sounded like a pyramid scheme and did Googling myself to confirm. I shared some links with her and even sent her the r slash MLM subreddit. I kept to um, talking to her about it and seriously was trying to persuade her not to join because it's literally a Ponzi scheme. I even told her she wasn't going to make any money and it's a waste of time and quite frankly it's embarrassing. She rolled herself her eyes at me and asked me to stop talking about it. I'm sitting in our living room working on a paper and I can currently hear her on FaceTime call with her friend who brought her attention to this business opportunity. They're discussing the products and how much they sell for and how awesome of a marketing experience this is. I just know this is going to end badly for her but it seems she's dead set on becoming involved. Um, uh, she, and she just says, it's my, um, she's my best friend, I really care about her and they know this is a waste of time. Any ideas on how to dissuade her? I mean, first of all, you do have to remember, as much as she is your friend, if she's an adult, it's kind of, um, her life is her choices. And it, it sounds like if you've already sent, given her all the information and tried to talk to her about, about it, I'm not saying give up, but I'm saying there's kind of people who are intentionally just trying to be ignorant and just trying to do whatever they want to do, you know, like... <laughs> Uh, I think it's one of those things you kind of have to uh, face the reality that once you've given them all the information and done everything that you can, if they want to still go ahead with this bad idea, that's kind of their business. And uh, as, quite frankly, I mean, you sent her our slash MLM, you've sent her all the information. I mean, I'm trying to think of something you can do more than give information because, as I say, there are some people in MLMs who you just give them all of the facts and they just ignore it or twist it and still carry on. So pretty much the best thing you can do is, I would say, educate all your other friends first because she's going to try to sell to them. You want to tell them, I mean, considering that it's Monet, I would make sure that the information that Monet causes your hair to fall out, and I think it's one of the ones that's been sued, as well as how it's similar to other pyramid schemes that have resulted in people being arrested and stuff like that, because they're obviously um, usually breaking the law. I would give that information to people, um, to all of your friends. As they say, your friend who's in Monet, you can give it to her. If she doesn't want to listen, that's her business. For, for where I'm standing from, the best thing you can do to help is everyone she's trying to sell to. Make sure they know the products are bad and dangerous and a waste of money. Make sure they know the company is probably breaking the law. And if they're not, I can't remember if, I think Monet has definitely been sued for making people's hair fall out. I'm not sure if it's actually been sued for being a pyramid scheme yet. Yet. So make sure people know that if they involve themselves in this, not only are they purchasing terrible products that can hurt them, but that they are potentially involving something um, themselves in something that could result to criminal convictions. I mean, you can tell her that, but if she's already signed up, I mean, I feel like it's one of those things where once they've made their financial investment, if you tell them you're stupid and you just lost their money, it's kind of too late because they already lost their money. And so now they're going to double down and be determined to succeed in this just because they need to make the money back. I think... So, yeah, for where I'm standing, the best thing you can do is protect everyone else from her, even, even though that sounds really sad. Because if she doesn't want to listen, that's, that's how it is. Um, 
And so going through the comment section, we have some really great um, messages about being compassionate and reassuring. I think that is the one thing, yes, that is true. Because as I say, you got it's got to feel pretty dumb, like especially at a time like this when it's not easy to just go out. We can't leave our homes and go out and pick up a regular job like you usually could because coronavirus. Um, so I think you do need to kind of reassure her it's okay to have been sucked in. It's okay to lose money like lots of people get scammed by these companies just because I feel like so many people don't want to admit they just were dumb, they made a mistake, they got suckered into something, and so they just kind of double down. So, yeah, definitely being compassionate and just kind of accepting that showing her the facts probably won't change her mind if what you've shown her already hasn't changed her mind yet, just because um, it is, as I say, just wanting to feel like you've made a smart decision and like you didn't make a mistake and stuff and not wanting to feel like an idiot for having been sucked in but uh yeah um what else do we have we have um the pro uh, the problem is she's um she isn't saying it but what suckered her in is greed um i mean i don't feel like that's fair i mean as i say We've got a lot of people who are entry level, who used to work as like bartenders or waitresses and stuff like that, who didn't make enough money to have large savings. And the companies they work for are not protecting them right now. They're like, obviously, a lot of these companies have been temporarily shut down. So you're not actively able to work there. You can't just go out and get another job because if you're entry level, you can't work remotely for a lot of these jobs. And also, a lot of these jobs are not providing any kind of sick leave or pay to protect workers who can't work right now because of COVID-19 so I think it is more for a lot of people that people in certain financial situations are going to get desperate and it's just a matter of informing people who are not already involved as I say it's one of those things once you're already suckered in once you've already thrown your money down you feel like you've got to stay with the company long enough to make your money back at least surely just because otherwise you're a com and especially because like the mentality they always give you is you're a quitter if you leave. So obviously that's, um, if you've got one, half of people telling them you're an idiot who's been suckered into a scam and then they, the, the other half telling you on the other side you're stupid and lazy if you quit, obviously that's going to make you determined to prove that you're not stupid, lazy, been suckered in and therefore make you more determined to work harder at this Ponsai scheme. Um, <laughs> so I think... The easiest thing to do and the best thing we can do is just inform people who who have not come into contact with these um, MLMs. And I, I would say Monet is, the, is one of the easier ones because you can just show people the news articles that show their hair products can make your hair fall out and they've been taken to court over it. It's just as easy as if you're going to involve yourself in something like this, just go for the products that actually um, work. <laughs> I mean... Obviously, that's not going to 100% dissuade people from MLMs in general, but Monet is an easier one. If they don't, if they've not already put their money down, you just show them Monet's not a good company in terms of the quality of products, which usually they're not good quality for any of them. Um, but still, and I do, yeah. As I say, I think the comment below that is saying, "Isn't that a little harsh?" Maybe she's naive, and yes, that is something I've noticed a lot. Is they prey on the UT, they prey on desperation yes there are the genuine psychopaths out there but as we've seen i mean psychopaths make up like maybe two percent of one or two percent of the entire world's population and that's like the percentage of people who can actually make money in an mlm so i think that speaks volumes that 99 percent of people are just kind of who are going into mlms are just kind of dumb and naive and they're going to lose money because of it the ones who really will succeed are the genuine predators but they're not that common because most people don't succeed in these things um, then we have, what else do we have? Interestingly enough, I found this meme because I was po it was posted by someone with Unique. If you go out and spread it to 10 people and those 10 people go out and spread it to 10 more people and they go out and spread it to 10 more people, does this sound familiar to, um, sound familiar? If you're still voluntarily going out, you are f falling for a pyramid scheme, stay home. <laughs> That's... The irony that someone from, because obviously they're describing this as a virus, the irony that someone from Unique, which is obviously a pyramid scheme, is using the structure of a pyramid scheme to explain why we need to stay home from COVID-19. 
I mean, I, I think it's an amazing way of describing unique and other companies like that. They are kind of like a virus. That's brilliant. Just well done. Well done. I don't, it always amazes me that they can manage to grasp this concept in principle, but the second you say you've been suckered into a pyramid scheme, suddenly they just can't get it. Get it. It's just like, what? What? No, no way. I've not been suckered in. Anyway, we have um, a friend of mine trying to use COVID to push some product. Of course, we had to have one guy who was trying to use people in a crisis. We have essentials for our essential workers. For every fifty plus dollars you purchase, you make um, purchase. Uh, let me start that sentence again. For every plus fifty dollars purchase you make, I'll send one of our essential products to the frontline workers. I'll even add a note that it was from you, if you wish. I mean, it's we've got. Sunless tan, and the eye makeup remover, uh, which, I mean, I feel like a lot of the people who actually are essential workers, their priority is not makeup and sunless tan. How do you need sunless tan and sunscreen at the same time? I'm just saying. It's a whole lot of useless luxury items. These are not essentials. These are, these are... I mean, gauze pads maybe, body moisturizer and lip shield and makeup wipes. You could include those as part of your general hygiene routine instead of like... But sunless tan is... is it's fake tan. It's it's part of your beauty regime. It's not an essential. <laughs> so yeah, we've got um, pressuring people to spend money they don't have on products that are shit so that we can send products that are shit to people who have better pr and bigger priorities than makeup and sunless tan <laughs> yeah and that's putting aside the fact that this is obviously again trying to use other people's crisis to push your own shitty business classy but anyway so we're gonna finish off with this little cutie we have a wild m, &L m nut in sweden i'm guessing this probably couldn't be that um, new because I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, this looks like a hotel. Interesting. It looks like a, kind of a hotel cafeteria. So I'm guessing this is someone who just uh, has to take them um, Herbalife, Herbalife trips. <laughs> but then, yeah, it's always absolute cringe when they go around constantly in the merch, and it's like, well. They always want to brag about how they don't, they um, have all this free time and they can manage their time. And it's like, you never take the merch off. You're never not working on this business. But yeah, you can do your boo boo. That's not embarrassing at all that you're wearing that shirt in public where people can see you. But yes, as I say, perfect image to finish on. Um, it's one of the big classic MLMs. Uh, so I think we will finish our video there with this little cringe part and um, I'll see you <laughs> if you enjoyed this video Please like comment subscribe all that good YouTube stuff um, If you're not following r slash MLMs, there's also r slash anti MLMs and other brilliant reddits where we get to follow these nut jobs and um, And these scam artists so follow those to keep abreast of all the scams that people are trying to foister off on you um, And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.